Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a device that is commonly used in manufacturing and industrial environments for many different reasons. I am talking about limit switches. For the purpose of this video, we will talk about the basics of what a limit switch is. We will also talk about some of the most common use cases for limit switches and why they are so commonly used in so many different environments. We will also talk about what is needed to make sure a limit switch functions the way it is intended to. And lastly, we will talk about some of the different types of limit switches that can be used. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. With that being said, let's take a closer look at this commonly used piece of hardware and find out what they are and how they're used. So what is a limit switch? Limit switches come in many different form factors and various functions, but in the most basic sense, they are electromechanical switches that operate based on the movement or presence of an object. So for example, one of the most common limit switches that we are all very familiar with is a to toilet float valve. While this is not what we think of when we think of a limit switch, especially because it's not electrical, only mechanical, it meets the defining characteristics that we just outlined. The limit switches that we are referencing in this video are simply the electronic version of a toilet float valve. So what is a limit switch used for? As mentioned before, the limit switch is designed to detect the presence of an object. Using an actuator connected to a series of contacts, the switch can detect the presence and proximity or absence of a material or object, usually in industrial settings. When the switch actuator is moved by an object, it will in turn change the state of an electronic contact set. This movement signals that some preset limit has been reached. There are many different ways a switch can be actuated depending on the type of switch that is being used. Some switches use a roller and lever. Some use a button or plunger, while others might use a rotating arm and rods attached to the main body of the switch. The type of switch that is used will largely be dictated by the specific application that you intend to use it in. Some very common examples where you might see limit switches being used are as follows. First, limit switches are often used to tally or count items or materials so that when a limit switch is reached, the switch will open or close. This open and closing action can be counted by a controller, therefore allowing the action to be totalized. There are, they are also commonly used as safety interlocks to prevent machine parts from moving any further when a specific point is reached. Limit switches are also commonly used in larger control systems. For example, when a certain limit is reached, the actuator can deactivate or activate a device to pre prevent it from malfunctioning. This type of function is often used with some kind of control device like a PLC. While the function of these devices are very simple, they are often used in very complex systems. Limit switches are one of the most commonly used discrete input devices today. By understanding how they work and the many different variations that they, that they can be found in, you can know if using this kind of hardware will make sense for your specific scenario. Either way, limit switches are a very simple yet functional piece of hardware that can be used in many different types of manufacturing and industrial environments. For a full line of industrial control hardware as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also don't forget, like and subscribe.